All right, Pete, here you go. Power button, upper right corner, chip door right here. That's already in there, that's all good. No other buttons on the display, but just hold that down. You gotta have your um, e-box switch or your electronics box switch on. Um, so that's running right now. Let that fire up. Takes a little bit of time, you got that chip in there, so it's loading all those charts and stuff. So we get this alert here, it says warning, information is for reference only, assume responsibility when using, said agree. And then it'll, it should come back to whatever screen you left it on last. I was just trying to see this sound sounder. So what you've got is you got all these little, they call these soft keys at the bottom. These will change as you flip through menus. Um, the data bar here on the right should stay the same. Speeds up here on the upper right, heading, GPS heading, magnetic heading, depth if we get that running. Time of day, GPS position. We can also customize these too. So if you see something you would rather see up there let me know and we can um, set that up for you home is going to bring you to your different um, display view settings so you have so really over here on the right you can set up some favorites um, I'll show you how to do that on Sunday but um, charts will give you all your different charts nav charts are standard chart 3d chart fishing chart radar overlay fisheye 3d a lot of this stuff's really cool. You probably use the radar overlay, the 3D chart, and the nav chart the most, in my experience. But take a look at all of them and see what you think. Sonar, traditional split zoom, split frequency. Um, so you just kind of click one and can run with that. Radar, so if you want to run radar, you run dual range. Home, radar. So say you want to do dual range. And it'll default to this menu right in the middle where it says ready to transmit and it says you just hit that button to transmit and it'll say spinning up so one thing that's nice about this extra high def radar is that you can zoom one and you can zoom one in really tight and do one out really far that's a feature that really wasn't available in um, some of the uh, older units Probably not going to use that because right now you need to know your. If you ran when you have your second display, that could be useful. But um. But let's go back. So just single range. That's that there. Again, you can do zoom out. You should be able to pinch the zoom as well. And then if you see, there's stop panning. Let's see that. So that's going to pop up on your chart screen as well. I'll get you back to center on everything. Home. So let's go to charts. Nav chart. I got you set up for north up, which I think you said you liked. Um, the boat is shown here in the center. Um, if you want to adjust the course, course up, all that stuff, you can go menu chart setup, chart appearance, and then chart orientation is that first one right there. And you can see it's set to north up. If you select that, you can pick these other three, but I'll just leave it on north up because I think that's what you said. Go back, menu, edit overlays. You can modify what's going on here um, or add new um, data bars but sometimes that cuts down your screen, um, visible screen footprint, so usually leave that open. Um, home, okay, so here's what we wanna do. So if you wanna do radar overlay, you can do radar overlay from here, or you can also do it from the from the um, radar subset. So you can go charts, radar overlay, and there you go, you got your radar overlay running on that. Um, you can see it might, it might be off slightly. Um, you can also do home, combos, chart and radar, and there you go, you've got your split going on. Zoom out, and there you go. Um, <clears throat> so home,
combos. You can do chart and sonar. Menu. Edit combo. You can do some modifications in here. But um, home, let's say charts, nav chart. Here you can just sort of drag the screen around. If you're looking at something, you want to get back again. Stop panning will get you back to the center. You can pinch to zoom like you would on your phone to zoom out. The charts in here are really, really good, so um, enjoy that. Stop panning will get this back. The other, um, you can also just do the press. You can see keep the little lobster icon there. That's Candler's. You'll see um, other things like here's a photo, aerial photo. It's all built in. Sorry. Um, a lot of cool stuff. Um, home. This 3D chart view is really good too. Um, I really like this display. Um, so when you're running, you can see it. You can see the channel in the distance as you're maneuvering out um, and sort of just stay in the channel. Also, if you're doing like a go-to waypoint, you can see it like as a road in the distance, which uh, can be really useful. But home, so probably for tomorrow, you'll probably run this guy running out and then flip back to whatever display you want. Home, you can do favorites. You can kind of set up some stuff here. If you get, uh, let's, let's look at this on Sunday, but I think for right now, um, you can probably just stick with combos, chart and radar. If you want to stop the radar menu, radar to standby. And it'll power down. You can hear it humming too. You can just go full screen charts. Some of the charts, nav chart, here's your chart. Home sonar, traditional, there's your full screen sonar. Home radar, single range. Transmit takes about 30 seconds to kick off, but once it does, it's ready to rock. Ready to stand by, power that down. Charts, nav chart, home, combos, chart and radar. Kick it off, zoom this guy out a little bit, and then you're running. Cool. Give me a buzz if you have any questions. I'm gonna leave it on this screen when I power it down so it'll be ready to rock when you're when you get here in the morning. Later.